Good morning, friends. How are you today? Happy Sunday. It's so good to see you today. Today, we're going to talk about something that got lost. Have you ever lost something before? Have you? Oh, no. Did you find it? I hope you did. Sometimes I lose things. I lose a lot of things like my keys or my glasses or my book or Hmm, what else do I lose? My shoes. I lose those a lot. It happens. But you know, we are going to tell a story to find out today in Sunday school about something that God lost and found. Fine, huh? So I want you to do something, though, with me. I'm going to help. I need your help counting things. Can you help Miss Debbie count something? Oh, that'd be great. Today, I have, if you have some, you could use marshmallows like I have. You could play this game at home, too. Or you could use a cotton ball. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put my camera down here so you can see it. I'm a little cold. There's my blanket. Okay. So here's some marshmallows. You ready? All right. I got my marshmallows. I'm going to put one in a my spoon and I'm going to put it in my bucket. One. I moved my camera up again. Sorry. Hmm. Okay. So that's one. Yes. And I've got another one on my spoon. Two. I got another on my spoon. Three. And another. What's oh, after three? Four. That's right. And one more. Five. And another. I got to pick it up with my spoon. You know, it's a little hard. Six. And seven. And what's after seven? Eight. Eight. And what's after eight? Nine. Use my fingers. It's okay. Nine. And one more, 10. Now what you could do is you could scoop up a marshmallow or a cotton can ball and walk it over and walk it back. Can you keep it on the spoon? It's a little kind of hard, isn't it? Yeah, so 10, 10 marshmallows. Let me count them for you, show them to you. Oh, yummy. What would happen if we lost one of our marshmallows? But Debbie ate a marshmallow. But now, we only have nine marshmallows. What is missing? What would we do? And, oh my goodness, hold on. Look, I have no more marshmallows. <gasps> oh my goodness. What a catastrophe, don't you think? <laughs> but... Don't eat all the marshmallows. Maybe just one. Ask mom first. Okay? Okay, great. So you play a game. But we're going to talk today about when Jesus talks about losing a sheep. Because, you know, sheep are kind of white and often white and they're fluffy like a marshmallow. Hmm. So you ready for a story? Let's pray today before Miss Debbie gets started so we can hear with our listening ears, we can respond with a loving heart, and we can know that God is talking to us through his word. Are you ready? Let's pray. We fold our hands so we don't get distracted. Bow our head, close our eyes. You ready? Okay. Dear Jesus, would you be with us today that we may hear your word and see your goodness and know that you find us even if we're lost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Today, our story comes from Luke 15 verses 1 through 7. Jesus told a story one day. Listen to the story he told. One day a shepherd was counting his sheep. One, two, three, all the way up to 99 sheep. That's a lot of sheep. 99? But there was supposed to be 100. One sheep was missing. Can you put your finger out for one? One sheep was missing. Where could it be? Sometimes sheep like to wander. They go here and there. They don't know where the danger is all the time. And did one sheep fall down some big rock? Do you have your one up? Mm. Did a wolf or a lion kill one sheep? Mm. The kind of caring shepherd wanted a kind and caring shepherd wanted to find his one lost sheep. Would the sheep have enough water and food? The shepherd left all his other sheep 
he went out to look for the one that was lost. Do you have your finger up? Yeah. The shepherd talked, walked all over the place. He wanted, he looked and looked. He wanted to find his lost sheep. The lost shepherd loved his sheep. And oh, there it is. The shepherd found his lost sheep. The shepherd was so happy. Oh, what joy. He picked up that one sheep and put it on his shoulders. The shepherd carried the sheep safely home. The shepherd called out, friends, neighbors, come on over. I have found my one sheep that was lost. Let's all be happy together. You know, you and I are like that lost sheep in the story because we need Jesus. We're sinners and we need someone to rescue us. We're lost and all alone. But when one sinner says, I'm sorry, Jesus, I've not trusted or obeyed you. I've not followed you. Thank you for finding and saving me. I'm going to turn around and follow Jesus. From now on, that one sinner's sins are forgiven and Jesus promises to be with them forever. Everyone in heaven is full of joy when that happens. Every child, each one who belongs to Jesus is precious to him. When you belong to Jesus, you are precious to him. Let's pray. Fold our hands, bow our heads, close our eyes. Jesus, Savior, Shepherd, hear us. How we need your care. Bless us in our class today and homes today and bless us everywhere. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, we have a Bible verse that we talked about a couple weeks ago. I'm sorry, I'm not had any lessons for us the last couple of weeks. Miss Debbie, she lost her book. It happens, <laughs> but I have it now. See, got it. So, we were talking about how our, so our verse was, the Lord is my shepherd. We had an L for Lord, for L, uh -huh. the Lord is my shepherd. Remember how a shepherd had like a band on his head to keep his cloth over his head? The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. We love the Jesus Storybook Bible. Maybe you have it. In one of the stories, he talk about David as a shepherd. And he said this. Have you seen this here? Found. It's how they render the book. And I'll show you my favorite one. See here? God is my shepherd. And I am his little lamb. He feeds me. He takes care of me. He looks after me. I have everything I need. Isn't that right? Yeah, we have everything we need because God is our shepherd and he takes care of us. The Lord is my shepherd. That's our Bible verse. Can you say that? The Lord is my shepherd. That's right. The Lord is my shepherd. So one other thing I'd like you to do. Okay. So here's Miss Debbie's. You like my sheep? <laughs> I think he's pretty cute. So mom or dad could write on a page. I am Jesus's little lamb because you are Jesus's little lamb because you know about Jesus and we're trusting him every day. And then we draw a little lamb and maybe you could color it. Could you draw a lamb? Oh, that'd be great. I am Jesus's little lamb. Oh, so good to see you friends. Could we sing a song real quick? Yeah. Could we do this is the day? Ruthie and I have been singing that one a lot and we really like it. You ready? So I'll do my turn. And I'll put when I point to you, it's your turn. Ready? This is the day, your turn. This is the day that the Lord has made. Your turn that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. Your turn. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Your turn and be glad in it. Everybody, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, your turn. This is the day that the Lord, everybody has made. Again, 
This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Everybody, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day, everybody, that the Lord has made. Oh, friends, I hope you have a great Sunday. Know that you're loved. Know that you're cared for. Know that we can't wait to see you again. It may be a long time before we see each other again in person, but we're going to do our best to make sure you see each other soon, okay? Know that we love you, and we're so glad that you're part of our church. We'll talk to you soon, friends, okay? Here we go. Go find a marshmallow, maybe, or some cotton balls, and do a little lamb play game. Excellent. See you, friends. Bye-bye now.